Ever since Governor Akere Dolu of Ondo State took a stand against Hertzman, Fulani Hertzman, some of you might say, how is this connected to politics? It is all connected together. Mehdi Allah and many of these Fulani bandit terrorists, Fulani, you know, Kato Hertzman Association that they created, and some other people who have been paid, they came out to say if the south of Nigeria, particularly the southwest of Nigeria that is taking action right now, if they kick out Ertzme, kick out Fulani, roaming right, left and center with their cattle, they will not allow 2023 to go to, you know what I mean, presidential election, go to the south of Nigeria. Akire Dolu has stood his ground and he said, well, I for one, I'm going to do what I need to do. 2023 is coming to the south west of Nigeria. It's coming to the south of Nigeria. Although many of you out there might be talking of um, a new nation, breakaway and all of that. These things just don't come like this. It takes a lot of effort. Uh, before you begin talking about break, 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 do not forget that for a very long time, the people have not been empowered. You are not strong enough. You're not stronger than the government. In Africa, government is stronger. When I say government, I mean some few people. And you'll be wondering, what is the structure? How come? How, how are these people strong? It's a mystery. The mystery. And what is this mystery? I'll tell you a little thing. You see, let's look at Nigeria, for example. Buhari's regime, his government. And when I say his government, I mean Buhari himself, his family, and the people loyal to him, around him. They are weak. They are so weak that if you see them on the street, you can, I mean, deal with them physically. But how have they become strong? They've become strong because there is an institution that has been put in place, a system, a structure that has been put in place, and that is the ministry. And what is this structure? Who are these people? The men with the gun. The men with the guns. Those are the people that are keeping government functioning, keeping them alive, keeping them where they are. I'm talking about the DSS. I'm talking about the police. I'm talking about the military and all parastata that surround them. They are the ones with the guns and they are the ones keeping them alive, keeping them together, keeping this government as it is. And that is the same thing all over Africa. You would have um, thought about it. Why is the police on the street and the rest of these military men, why? All of a sudden, why can't they just look at it and say, look, enough is enough. They can't because even the military, when they had a chance, they did the same thing. It is all about power. Who gets there? Who is recognized internationally? What can we do? How can we get money? You think the government does not see police on the street extorting money? Maybe once in a while, they try to say, okay, let's use this person as a scapegoat. Once in a while, EFCC this, once in a while. The point is this, we've been conditioned to see the executive as a all and all, and that's what it is. So back to what is on ground. Governor Kerry Dolu said, well, I am not looking at myself for 2023 as president, but I care less about party, APC, PDP, whatever. President must come from the South. Now, for me, I see this as sectional aggrandizement. Although there is still, um, how would I put it? There is still something to also look into. If the North brings president again or go for third time or whatever it is, that person must do what the north wants so it's uh, the person is simply president of the north question you should ask yourself is this if someone from the south of nigeria let's say southeast or southwest of nigeria becomes president will that person be president of the south or southeast or southwest no that is where the mystery comes into it the person will not be able to shut down the excesses shut down the crime that has become uh, a political national you know in the north of Nigeria, the person will not. That is when you see terrorism in the north get more wings. And there will be a lot of people from their monarchs to their religious leaders and even in the military making sure that the policies or whatever the president says, let's say the president is from the southwest of Nigeria or the southeast, whatever the person says or whatever the person does, they will make sure that they destroy, they put holes to it. They will make sure that nothing works. They will make sure that armies die. More armies will die. They will make sure that insecurity increases. They do all of this since they are all connected together. 
unless there's a shake-up. But then, remember that people are more loyal to money than tribe. More loyal to money than religion. That is the first thing that plays out. And that is the first most powerful thing that is keeping this government or regime or any government in Africa together. Corruption. That is what it is. Corruption. So, Akere Dolo has said that he is not uh, going to allow any of this. I'm not saying he is the most powerful person, but right now he has um, acted like a man that everybody expects him to be. Governor of Ondo State. He has signed, is the first to sign the ban of the open grazing. And that is a, you know, a lot of people are applauding that, but that does not necessarily mean that he is the right person for the post of president. There are a lot of... Um, other things that you need to look into, not just banning the Congress thing. Fulani and are not the only problems we have in Nigeria. There are a lot and a lot. And then uh, sometimes when you give people more than what they can chew or more position, sometimes they just fall out and uh, they begin to act out of order. Right now, the North is struggling and fighting for 2023. They want someone that is sympathetic to them. That's why they are coming up with uh, the likes of uh, Good Luck Jonathan. And they just need someone that will do what they want. They are trying to secure, they are trying to make sure that whoever steps in there will sign a covenant with them and that covenant is to keep the interest of the North alive. And what is the interest? Do not look at those dirty Fulani men on the street and all that. No, there are people behind all of these things. There are people who buy the AK-47. There are people who, are, who give them these cows, apart from some of them having fear of their cows taking it around. This is a big business. It's a big business. And apart from that, this issue of insecurity is also a big business to a lot of people. Keeping terrorism alive is a lot. Is is a big business to a lot of people. So they want someone who will close an eye and make sure that terrorism is alive, at least to a point whereby people make money from it. That's how it is. So Akeri Dola said, look, this is not possible. The South, in fact, the Southwest of Nigeria will come up with someone. The Southeast will also be there. And for me, I'm not in support of the one Nigeria, but right now, you do not expect Akere Dolu to talk about a breakup of Nigeria. It's not just possible for any governor of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, any governor at all, to talk about breakup of Nigeria. It is a kind of out of order for them to do so. So, if Nigeria is not broken apart come 2023, the struggle for the South to produce president next president will be very very tough although the people of the north claim that they are more they claim that their population is enough and they say since election is a game of number politics is a game of this and that but whatever that is well we will see um i don't think it will be possible anyway i don't think it will be possible but you know what nigeria is nigeria is just uh, you know it, it, it's something that is un, un, unbelievable that is what nigeria is Maybe, maybe, maybe someone from the South will become president. But for me, I do not see the person from the South making any difference. If you want to find out, check the governors in the South of Nigeria. Many of them are the same like any other Northern governor. They are all the same thing. They all have the same idea. They all have the same spirit. They all dwell in the same murky, you know, cesspool and nothing more.